Hey, Easy Agent Pros. Welcome to this episode number 22 of In The Lead Show. Uh, we're going to be diving in deep into Facebook today, what works, what doesn't, uh, some cool things that we've discovered in terms of you know how you can market your listings to get more engagement, actually like leads and comments on your Facebook post. Um, sorry, this one's been a bit long in the tooth getting it out there. You know, I, The last one, I was sick for a week, and now we've been just launching feature after feature after feature on lead sites we integrate with, I think, over six or seven different email providers and CRMs have tons of new features and apps there. So if you haven't checked it out in the last uh, week or two, you should really go to uh, leadsites.easyagentpro.com or easyagentpro.com slash leadsites. Just check it out. Um, but today we're going to be diving into Facebook marketing. Um, what we're seeing and... Uh, for, to back up a bit, we get a lot of emails and a lot of people asking us questions at Easy Agent Pro. And the first thing I ask everyone for is their, is their website. And then we check out their Facebook page. We'd look for like five or 10 things on the website and their social media in order to just figure out where the average agent is, right? So I'm trying to, you know, gear this towards you. And what we see is that a lot of people just have zero likes, zero comments on their Facebook stuff. And it's a bit hard to get an audience there, right? So if you go read a site like, let's say, uh, social media insiders or um, any of the social media sites will tell you, you know, post once a day, engaging things, ask questions. That's, that's fine. But in real estate, it just sometimes doesn't translate to what we're doing. Or you'll sign up for a service where they'll post, you know, news articles to your feed for you, um, but then no one likes them. Or you'll try to post a listing and then there's no comments. And, you know, just it's hard to get started. So what we find working on Facebook is engagement and uh, just creating something that makes it fun. People go to Facebook on their phones and they go to it looking for enjoyment, you know, and that can come from video or images, but it has to be one of those two things. So what we're seeing the most success with lately is, for example, uh, having a prize, like a $15 grocery card gift card or, you know, gas gift card or whatever giveaway. And then uh, for that prize, they have to, you know, guess the, the, the list price for the, the property that you describe below and then have 10 images of, right? And then you boost that on Facebook and you boost it with like 10, 15 bucks. Um, we're seeing that get like 100 comments. Like, seriously, 100 comments. Most most people have never gotten 100 comments. Um, and then if you message all those people, most of those people are going to be outside your sphere and the people you know face to face. Message them directly on Facebook with just a, hey, this is Tyler. I'm looking to grow my real estate company. Do you know anyone I should talk to about buying or selling real estate? Thanks for commenting. I'll let you know if you're the winner. Uh, that shakes up about three leads, two leads per per doing this. So it's a really cheap way to start, you know, getting leads. And then you have a hundred people that you can add to your CRM, especially if you have a social-based CRM, like almost every CRM is these days where it connects to Facebook, you can really start to grow what you're doing in that one-to-one -one communication stream. So Facebook really isn't these days about posting your listing, posting your um, you know, blog post or posting your something that's really promotional. It's about giving. And the more you can give the content, give the value, um, then the more leads you get. For example, you can write with lead sites a blog post called, um, you know, open house at Sunday at whatever. Get a $15 gift card if you register. And then you share the hashtag lock version of that site. So you just publish that blog post and then you uh, put hashtag lock behind the URL. And then it locks down the page and it won't, and it says, uh, get a $15 gift card if you register. So then you share that on Facebook with, you know, some images and with some uh, text describing that if you register to view this open house, you know, the, the winner will get $15 gift card. That's going to get comments, shares, and likes. And what that does is that just gets more people to your open house, which makes your sellers happy and keeps them off your back. Um, and it also gets more people um, into your sphere that you can then directly message to get more referrals and more business, right? So it's all about creating that spark, that initial conversation. And it's just not going to work if you do it with blog posts. Blog posts are great for getting people to your site. They're great for SEO. They're great for integrating with MailChimp, which Lead Sites does now. Um, and then mailing them something that's educational 
own value. And on Facebook, you know, if it is a good engaging blog post, you are going to get some likes and comments. But it's this next stuff that if you do once a week, once every other week, it's really going to ramp up what you are doing online. So I encourage you to do one of those two things this week. Head over to your Facebook, maybe share a hashtag lock version of your site to lock it down so that people that click there can register and then get into your CRM. Or maybe take some pictures and the description of it and offer a gift card see if that works for you too um, but Facebook is all about being what people want to see so just look the take you know a step back and if you look at your mobile phone and scroll through it you'll notice that the things that engage your eyes are native Facebook video and those images and you'll notice the two things I just said to do were um, make that that those images that stand out and offer you know gift cards and play a game because then you're going to actually be doing something in real estate that matches what people are doing on Facebook. And that's where the magic happens is when you meet them at their level on that platform, right? So it's a great tool to drive traffic back to your site. That's sort of Facebook 1.0, but Facebook 2.0 and really getting into the lead gen there is what we just talked about today. So hope you've enjoyed this episode of In The Lead. We've got some exciting stuff coming up next week. Uh, we're gonna show you how to actually get ads for your own site on Zillow and Trulia. Uh, really cool stuff there. And then we're gonna also break down a few more marketing tactics, sort of really exciting stuff coming up next week. Um, check out lead sites if you haven't. We've shipped some really cool major updates with all the CRM and integrations into all the new lead capture apps and tools that come built into it. Uh, so I'm Tyler from Easy Agent Pro. Thanks for watching this episode of In The Lead.